Hi guys, welcome back to a bookish weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing my June wrap up. So in the month of June I read a total of five books, which I know isn't a lot to a lot of people, but I'm actually really pleased with, considering I didn't read for most of the month. I think I started reading like in the last week due to me doing my A-levels and finishing college. So I was just too busy to read. In fact, I hadn't read for the past three months at all. I hadn't read one page due to A-levels and college and exams, but I finally got to read again and I read five books, so I'm actually really pleased. It's been so nice to get back into reading. So yeah, let me just tell you what books I read in the month of June. The first book I read is All This Is True by Lydia Day Penaflor. I don't know how you pronounce your name, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. This book follows Mary, Penny and Salil as they befriend their favourite author, but when this author releases a book about their life and their story, drama ensues and secrets get revealed. This book is told in a really fun way from each different girl's perspective as well as the author's perspective, as it follows Mary and Penny's point of view through interviews with questions and answers and Salil's through her diary entries that are posted onto her blog and it follows the author's point of view as it goes through the book that she has written. I really enjoyed this book, I think I gave it 3.75 out of 5 stars. I do really recommend it, it was so close to a 4 star read. It was really fun, really quick read actually, I got this in my book box club June box. So I was very happy to receive this. I had never heard of it before but I really enjoyed it. I jumped into it straight away after reading the blurb and there's so many questions I want to ask the author about this book. I don't really understand the message she was meant to get. I don't know who were meant to like or who weren't meant to like but I think that's kind of the whole point. You have to make a lot of judgments about what happened in the characters yourselves. So I'm definitely going to be asking the author these questions when it is the book box club little book club meeting they have once a month for the members of their subscription. Next book I received is also from the June Book Box Club box and that is The Bonus Mercies by April Jonesy Tuchalk. Um, again, sorry if I'm butchering her name. This book is an ARC copy as it comes out on October 4th so I got to read this early and I really really loved it. I think I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I flew through it once again. It had such a dark fairy tale feel to it and very traditional fantasy, like medieval times sort of fantasy. I loved the characters, the Squad of Girls were amazing and I just loved all the characters they met. It survived into two quests, the witches and the beast, but I loved it, the characters were amazing. I highly recommend this, make sure you go pick it up on October 4th when it comes out. Oh, I forgot to tell you what this book's actually about. So it follows the this group of bonus mercies who kill for a living. They do mercy kills to so be like you're really ill or something then they kill you and you commission them to kill you basically. It starts off with them deciding they don't want to be bonus mercies anymore and I think the death played a massive part in this book. It was just constantly, I felt it like physically. It was just so sad and sorrowful and it just followed it in every page of the story. And then when they decide they don't want to be bonus mercies, they go on a quest to kill this beast and they're promised gold and wealth if they do kill it. But on their journey, they end up going on another side quest to kill this witch. And I just really, really love this book. The next book I read this month is Freshers by Tom Eileen and Lucy Iverson. This is a contemporary book and it follows Phoebe and Luke on their first semester at university. The first, the main reason I picked up this book was because I am hoping to start university in September so I thought reading this might calm me down a bit, get rid of some of those anxieties that I have about starting uni. I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars, I really enjoyed it, it was so much fun. The only reason I didn't give it 5 stars was just because I didn't really like the characters that much. They weren't bad characters, I didn't hate them, they just weren't like my sort of characters. But it was a really fun story and I do highly recommend it. The next book I read this month is You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Leviathan. This follows Mark and Kate who have sat next to each other in calculus for the whole year, but they haven't really talked or got to know each other. At the beginning of Friday the week they bump into each other and an unlikely friendship forms. And throughout the week they start to lean on each other and get to know each other and just form a really great friendship. I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I wanted to like this book so much more than I actually did. The characters just sort of laid flat for me. The relationships didn't grow very well. I think they grew a bit too quickly, some of them grew a bit too slowly. It just wasn't great. Like I did enjoy it and I would recommend it if you just want a fun quick 
diverse read. There were bits of it that I really liked, but I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't my favorite, to be honest. So quite disappointed with this one. So yeah. And the fifth and final book I read this month is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. I received this in the June Foley book. I got this ahead of time as it comes out at the end of July. So make sure you go and pick it up when it does come out because I gave this book five stars. I originally gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars but I recently decided to up it to 5 stars because I just love this book so much. I will be doing a full review of it soon, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. This book follows sisters Serene and Nomi, or Nomi, I still don't know how to pronounce her name, and they live in this fantasy land where women have no rights, they are the property of a man, so either like their dad or their husband or whatever. And in this world there are graces that the heir and the king have to show what the perfect woman is meant to be like. Serena has trained her whole life to become one of these graces, whereas Nomi has always been a bit of a rebellious younger sister, not wanting to follow the rules, and she's always wanted to fight against the norm. And so when Serena was chosen to go to the palace to possibly be chosen by the heir to be one of the graces, and Nomi follows as her handmaiden, things take a turn for the worse. This book is so feminist and fantastical and I absolutely loved it. It was like a dystopian fantasy. There were some bits that really resonated with me and I definitely really recommend you pick this up soon. The character development was amazing. I loved the characters. I loved the land. I loved the words. I just loved everything about this book. So I can't wait for the sequel to come out whenever it does come out. So yeah. So that's it for today guys, if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss any of my other videos. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!